so I'm stuck because it's blizzarding outside. And what better thing to do but talk about Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Now, this is not a game I'd usually pick up. Let's just say that right off the bat. It is a Resident Evil game, and I don't do so well with horror, or survival horror, or, you know, jump scares, or really anything that's designed to scare you. I just don't find the fun in playing that. But, I was completely surprised. I was so surprised by how much I loved this game. I've gotta say, it's probably my top five. My top five favorite games, that's pretty hard to come into, you know? It's like, it's games that I'm willing to play over and over again. Although I don't want to play it immediately right after finishing it, that's how most games are in my top five. I don't want to play Mass Effect 1 right after I finish Mass Effect 3. I have to have a little break. But I know that I'm going to want to return to it, and that's how I feel about Resident Evil 4, which is weird for me, because... I've played a lot of games, and a lot of them I'm like, yeah, that was fun, alright, move on, you know, kind of thing. Wow, it's really snowing out there. It kind of took a little bit of coaxing from Savannah to get me to play Resident Evil. You know, she was like, play it, play it, play it, dang it, play, play it, play it, and I was like, okay, fine. And so this is her copy, and I loved this game. Like, if I had to... I can't really do reviews. I'm not very good at them because I always feel like I'm really... Oh, I love this. Everyone should play. Resident Evil 4, I can see why it's considered one of the best entries in the series. And I mean, I can see why it defined, like, over-the-shoulder shooters. Like, it's really good. The controls were very simple, but a little hard to get used to. Because the whole thing is like... All right. Let's go, Leon. I almost never use this, because, I mean, you can use it in the inventory, I guess, and I think you can control Leon with it. I never really tried. This, I didn't realize you could use until, like, I don't even, the boss fight? Like, two hours before the final boss. I was like, oh my god, I could use this to zoom I'm on the rifle. That would have been a lot more helpful when I had to, you know, precision do precision stuff with the rifle. That sucks. This button was inventory, and this was not inventory. Very simple. I'm not used to, you know, pressing a button to fire, but once I got used to it, it was very easy. The only thing that kind of bothered me throughout the game was probably that you couldn't move while you were shooting, but I didn't find it that annoying just because I feel like I'm a little spoiled from newer games. You know, I can forgive the fact that you can't move when you're shooting. And the other thing that I really liked about the game was that it was very fair. It was tough, but it was very very fair. Like, if you messed up, it was your fault. It wasn't just because the game was hard, it was it was your fault. Leon can't move while he's shooting, and so you would think, oh no, the zombies are going to come after me and I won't be able to move. What am I going to do? They make it so that the- they're not zombies. I call them zombies. The ganados. When they come after you, they go slowly when they come closer to Leon. They walk slower. They give you a chance to be able to shoot them, but they don't have them walk so slow that it's like, oh, I got this, I got this, don't worry. It's, there were parts when I would mess up, and I'm like, yeah, I totally deserve that. I mean, sometimes it would get a little annoying because I'm used to quick time events giving you, you know, a few seconds, maybe like two seconds. In this game, it literally, the moment it appears on the screen, you gotta press the button, or else Leon's gonna die. And the other thing is, they didn't script the quick time events. They would just randomly shuffle the buttons. So I'd start to memorize it, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna press these buttons, and then suddenly it's like... I'm just like... But, like I said, the game felt fair. Sometimes I was like, ugh, slow down quick time events. But then again, I feel like that's because I'm spoiled with slower quick time events. These are literally quick time events. Another thing I'd like to bring up is how pretty this game looks. Like, it's not supposed to be pretty, and pretty is the wrong word, but it's the only one that I can really think of. This game looks fantastic. It's holding up to games like that I play now. And you know, 
sure, you can definitely see the oh, those are beautiful blobs of leaves. But Leon himself is I don't even know how to explain it. He's so amazingly detailed. His outfit reacts, like his hair and his outfit reacts to the environment. So you'll be running. The jacket like flaps will like move and his hair will like, you know, kind of move a bit. And I found that amazing considering that this game came out 2004 or five. Could be wrong. Will it tell me what date came out. 2005. Okay. The game takes place in 2004. That's right. Sometimes you're like, okay, Leon's hair is moving around too much. Like, what is even going on there? And that's just because it's just... <laughs> they were trying to have, you know, wind physics, and sometimes they're like, oh, more wind. Must have more wind. Another thing that I'd like is the way Leon interacts with everything and anything. The way he holds his guns makes sense, the way he walks through certain areas, the way he runs, the way he'll pick up things, the way he'll react to an enemy. Like, Leon will, like, you'll be running from an enemy and Leon will glance back a few times. And I'm like, uh, amazing, um, um, amazing, like, <laughs> amazing. S um. Another thing that I was surprised about was a lot of people talked about how annoying Ashley is, and I was, like, led to believe that Ashley's super annoying. I didn't actually find her that annoying. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. And maybe that's just because so many people told me she was so annoying, I was expecting the, like, worst possible annoyance ever. She wasn't... she wasn't that annoying. The only thing that was slightly annoying to me was that they didn't have a lot of sound clips to use for her. So there were like two different ways that she screamed Leon and there were like two different ways that she screamed. She did play to the damsel in distress a lot. Like a lot. She was the Sam damsel in distress all the time, but that's the point. She's supposed to be the damsel in distress. That's why Leon is sent there. That's he's sent there to rescue her. You are literally in Spain to rescue the princess from the castle. The princess being Ashley, and the castle being creepy Ganados, the Los Illuminados people. The only thing that I would really say that was annoying about her was the one part when you have to shoot her out of the, the shackles. People who've played the game will know what I'm talking about. It's the part when you have to shoot her out of the shackles, and this is when I didn't know you could zoom with the rifle. I was just like sitting there, I'm like, wait, wait, Ashley, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I shot her again. Mission failed. I died 21 times that chapter just because I kept shooting her on accident. So I didn't find Ashley as annoying as I thought she would be. The only thing that slightly grated on my nerves sometimes was her voice and um, how damsel in distress-y she could be, but that's the point. She's supposed to be the damsel in distress, so that's not a huge concern. It is really snowing out there. Wow. Um, thought I would share that with you. The other thing about this game was, I know I said I don't like playing games that scare me. This game did scare me, though. But it was, it was a thrill. It wasn't so much like, oh gosh, now it's gonna scare me, I'm just gonna turn it off. It was like, I have to get past this part. I know it's scary, but I have to get to a part that's less scary. But the thing is, this game, you know, it kind of like went nee, 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 me, and then like it goes up, and it kind of never really comes down. Like there are some parts where you're like, oh, I'm safe, you know, like when you go meet stranger or you know the merchant, you're you know that those places are safe. You're like blue, blue lights, yes, safety, safety. I really wasn't like that scared. There were some parts where I was like, oh, that's gross. Don't want to see that. Put that away. But then got to a certain part and people will know what I'm talking about. I was invested by then. I was like in the game. I had to like save Ashley and I had to like go and oh I'm Leon S. Kennedy. I kick butt and then these things popped up and I'm like ah! no no there was like this one cutscene where it's my favorite cutscene in the entire game. Probably out of all the games that I played in my life it's the best cutscene. I'll play it, right here. Looks like this is it. Ugh, it stinks. Sure does. 
No way, Leon. Way? <gasps> Out of your mind? I knew you'd be fine if you landed on your butt. You... What is this? <clears throat> Come on, let's go. Anyway, so that plays. And then, like... And you know from that, you're like, Oh, oh no, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, run, run, run. And it comes after you anyway, and you're like, ah, No, no. I'd... I don't like the regenerators or the Iron Maidens, you know, Iron Maiden slash regenerator. I hate them. Most of them, I was just like, I don't have to fight you. I'm out. Bye. Even though I had, you know, the scope that was required, I was just like, nope, nope, I'm out. That happened. I've tried to kind of compile, like, this. And I made a really long video. I think it's probably 30-ish minutes long. I've tried to compile the things that, you know, was actually about the game and sort of review like I guess hopefully it's alright um, if you didn't get anything from that I would highly suggest playing this game it is a very good game and you can feel you like you feel like you are Leon you you are Leon you got to rescue this girl you gotta fight those not zombies. You are, you are Leon. You become Leon. I felt like Leon. I started getting protective of Ashley. And I mean, I know that she's annoying, but you know, like I said earlier, she didn't annoy me as much as I thought she would. This game was very well done. This game was surprisingly immersive. I felt I was with Leon the entire time. And you know, that was, that was, that was awesome. The games rarely do that. It was so beautiful. So beautiful. I know that a game is really good if I beat it very quickly. I'm just like burning up all my time playing this game. If I'm just like, I gotta play, the, I, I, I gotta like go and get the, the princess. No, there's no princess. I mean, you know, like Mass Effect 3? No, Mass Effect 2, I beat in less than a month, which is rare for me. And this game, I beat in eight days. I just loved it. All right, it was beautiful. And if you haven't played it, what is your problem? It's like on every single console now. So, to wrap this up, if you haven't played Resident Evil 4, I would highly suggest playing it, even if you're not a huge horror fan, if you're not a huge survival horror fan, if you're not really over the shoulder kind of person, give the game a chance. Give the game a chance, like I did. I was not gonna give this game a chance. And I'm so glad that I did. What do you guys think of me doing these kind of thoughts slash reviews of games? Yay, nay, eh. That's kind of what I want to take my channel towards now that I'm not doing like just gaming videos. I wouldn't mind doing, you know, like gaming thoughts. <laughs> I, I have some like actual like reviews in process um but i just don't know if i'm really set out to be a reviewer because i tend to go on tangents and i bring a lot of my thoughts into it so yeah let me know what you thought of this and if you have played resident evil 4 what do you think of it and um do you agree do you disagree go leon go no leon use the knife use the knife